Hey guys, what's happening? It's Krim, and welcome to today's Subtlety Rogue pre-patch guide. By now you have no doubt heard, read, or seen videos about the prowess of Subtlety Rogue in Shadowlands, but you may be a little bit rusty, because like 99% of rogues, for most of BFA you've been playing Assassination or Outlaw. The pre-patch is a great place to familiarize yourself with the spec and its changes in an endgame setting, provided your guildies aren't all off playing PoE or causing guild disbands in Among Us. In this video I'll talk you through the talents, essences, as a right, and rotational changes for a sub. I'll make sure to mention most of the important changes when going into Shadowlands in this video, but if you aren't familiar with 100% of the changes, I did a video about them and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Let's get straight into it. For Subtlety's talent setup, this is the setup I would recommend for a single target and works well in almost every situation. If you are more interested in AoE, just play Outlaw. Jokes aside, Subtlety's AoE strengths aren't as great at level 50 as they will be at level 60. This is because a lot of the passives and abilities, like the new Shadow Vault AoE finisher, you won't actually learn until you hit certain level thresholds between 50 and 60. If you do want to give it a try though, then this is the talent setup I would recommend. Neither Weapon Master nor Premeditation are particularly great in AoE, but Premeditation loses slightly less value in AoE than Weapon Master does. On the last row, instead of Master of Shadows, you can pick Secret Techniques, which is an AoE ability with a moderate cooldown, which does a lot to pump up your AoE damage at least a little bit. Let's move on to Azerite Essences. Your single target major is most likely going to be the Condensed Life Force Essence, while in AoE it will be the Essence of the Focusing Iris. As minor essences, you can pick Memory of Lucid Dreams, Crucible of Flame, and as third one, either Breath of the Dying or Conflict and Strife, if you have that at rank 3. Keep in mind that the Corruption Resistance that Breath of the Dying used to bring is no longer useful because Corruption will be gone in pre-patch. Hooray! This also means that Azerite traits, such as Heart of Darkness, are no longer working, and that's a lovely segue into Azerite traits. The Azerite Traits Knight's Vengeance, which you may have wanted in BFA, is also no longer useful because of the removal of the Nightblade ability. Instead, what you want to be looking for is three first dance traits, one inevitability trait, and you can fill up the other two with some generic stat procs. On the inner ring, you'll be looking for as many overwhelming power traits as possible. And speaking of stats, Agility looks like it's going to be back on top after having spent most of the expansion being somewhere around the middle or even worse. As secondary stats go, Mastery and Versatility are looking to be the most desirable, with Critical Strike rating lagging a little bit behind. And try to avoid haste as much as possible because of how much haste you get from things like Azerite traits already. Next up is the subtlety rotation, and the very first thing you want to do is apply your poisons. You are going to forget this and it will be embarrassing, so make sure you have some sort of weak aura or other kind of reminder to make sure you don't forget. The subtlety rotation is based around building combo points and then spending those by using finishers, all while juggling your cooldowns. As far as builders go, if you are fighting three or more targets, Shuriken Storm will be the builder of choice. If that is not the case, then you want to use Shadow Strike when you are either coming out of Stealth or in Shadow Dance. If you are not in Stealth or Shadow Dance and you are fighting two or more targets, you will still be using Shuriken Storm as a builder. If none of the above apply, then you just use Backstab to build your combo points. When it comes to finishers, your number one priority is making sure you are maintaining the Slice and Dice buff, which can be made slightly easier if you are playing the Premeditation talent. Your next priority is to maintain the new Rupture ability on your main target. And thirdly, you want to use Secret Techniques, if you have this talented, on cooldown. If you are fighting multiple targets, it may be worth after this to also apply Rupture to extra targets, if they do live for the whole duration of the Rupture. If you have done all of this, then you can just go ahead and spend your combo points on Eviscerate. The key to playing Subtlety well is playing around its cooldowns well, and Sub has three main ones, namely Shadow Blades, Shadow Dance and Symbols of Death. You want to try and use these as often as possible of course, and also try to stack those where possible. 
Another thing to keep in mind is that you don't want to use your combo points while in these cooldowns on maintenance buffs like Slice and Dice and Rupture. You want to try and stack Shadow Blades with Symbols of Death, and you also want to try and stack Shadow Dance with Symbols of Death. Usually this means that for every Symbols of Death you will have a Shadow Dance charge available, and this may mean that you have to hold on to a Shadow Dance charge for a little bit. Because you have two, it usually means that you will have Symbols of Death plus Shadow Dance, after which you will have another Shadow Dance charge available, and for the next use of your Symbols of Death, you should also have a Shadow Dance charge backup. Playing all of these cooldowns well is going to be the key to doing good DPS in Subtlety. And that should be everything you need for playing Subtlety Rogue in the pre-patch. If you use all of the information in this video, you are well in your way to becoming a professional in the Shadowlands. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content and be kept up to date with everything to do with rogues. If you have any comments or questions make sure to leave them down below or come find me on my stream twitch.tv forward slash All the best of luck in the pre-patch guys and I hope to see you in the next video.